I'm sorry to tell you, miss, but you're not going anywhere. Oh, figgy pudding, this is just perfect. You know, where are you heading? Well, like everybody else, home for the holidays. Well, clearly you're the picture of Christmas cheer. What's the story? Sorry, I'm just not looking forward to Christmas this year. Last year, my husband walked out on me with our town's newly crowned Miss Christmas Spirit. So yeah, just call me Ebenezer. You're not the only one that uh, dreads Christmas around here. My sister would not be thrilled to know that I'm not uh, the only person on the planet who can't muster up a little bit of Christmas spirit. You know, Sen has the right idea. Only visit family once a year. That might even be too much for me right now. So why do you hate Christmas? I guess I don't know if I want to talk about it much, really. Uh, most people count down the days to Christmas. I count down to the days Christmas is over. Anyway, since we're both in the Holiday Haters Club, mind if I bring you down a couple notches still? Please don't. Uh, most likely this part here. With the snow coming, the pass getting closed, we're not going to be able to get it for a few days. If anything, you're, uh, you're going to be stuck. Sugar Plum Ferry. What are the chances there's a rental car in town? Oh, that's a negative. Any chance you can give me a ride to the nearest hotel? Oh, I'd be happy to, except there's uh, only two bed and breakfasts in town, and this time of year they're always full up. What am I going to do? Well, my mother taught me. Never leave a damsel in distress, so, uh, I don't know, I guess you go over to my sister's place. Doesn't really look like I have a choice then, do I? I gotta warn you, my sister's doing her annual Light of the Lights Christmas party tonight. She tends to go a little bit overboard. Mother Frosty the Snowman. Can I just stay in the truck? If you want to, or you can hang out in the corner with other misfits like me. I hear misfits have more fun. Here we are. I thought you said your sister was really into Christmas. Here. Holy Hallmark. A little overboard? This place puts the Griswolds to shame. Welcome to the seventh circle of Christmas hell. Here we go. You made it! Hey, sis. <laughs> hey, did Santa come early? You brought a date? It's not that way. Hi, I'm Joy. Oh, hi, Natasha. Nice to meet you. Come, grab some lights. You can help over there. Do what now? Oh, don't look at him. Luke's idea of getting in the Christmas spirit is to sulk like Scrooge. Son of a blizzard, Joy. You know we don't talk like that at this house. I'm just trying to stay on the naughty list to save Santa a trip. Come on. Let's go before she makes us wear sweaters from Christmas past. You're not very good at this. Clearly. Nope. Here, look, look, there's a piece. Here, hold that right there so it doesn't get tangled. <laughs> no, wait, now it's worse. You know what? <laughs> I'm done with this. Ready? Who's ready to light this place up? Yeah. Okay, let's count down. Three, two, one. So, what do you think? Pretty impressive. You do this every year? Our parents used to always go all out. I find it's a good way to honor them now that they're gone. I'm sorry I didn't know. It's been five years since we lost them. Luke lost his wife and daughter as well. What happened? Car accident. He blames himself even though he wasn't there. If he would have been, I would have lost him too. 
It's been hard on all of us, but for Luke, he hasn't been able to move on or let go. That's why I wanted to thank you. Thank me? For what? Tonight's the first time I've seen even a hint of happiness in him. Hearing him laugh again is music to my ears. For years, all I've wanted is for him to be happy again. Your car breaking down when and where it did was more than serendipitous. I'm guessing you might agree with me. Yeah, I do. Honestly, I was dreading Christmas. I kind of felt like it was a Category 5 hurricane. I just had to assess the damage when it was all over. <laughs> well, hopefully the damage hasn't been too bad so far. Not too bad. <laughs> you know, the true Christmas spirit lies within you. It's the one gift that needs to be open. Hey, Natasha, uh, I just talked to the parts store. They said they've got what you need for your car. He's willing to stay a couple hours late if you want. With any luck, you could beat the storm. Be home by Christmas. Afternoon, anyways, if you want. Christmas, Matt. Joy. Um, Luke, why don't you call him and tell him to go home? Spend Christmas with their families. I could stick around for a couple days. That's if it's okay with you. There's still room at this end. <laughs> Slap my chimney. Call me Santa, you sure? You, you up for more of this Christmas madness? Only if you promise I don't have to eat any of that fruitcake. Well, I'm not making you any promises there. <clears throat> It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas.